Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to discuss the use of Pascal triangle in binomial expansion. I'm sure guys, after watching this video, you will be able to expand any expression of the type a plus b whole raised to k for any positive integer k. So let us first recall binomial expansion. Binomial expansion states that a plus b whole raised to n for n positive integer is n choose 0 a raised to n into b raised to 0 plus n c 1 a raised to n minus 1 b raised to 1 plus n c 2 a raised to n minus 2 b square plus and so on. It has n plus 1 terms where n c r is given by n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial formula. It is quite tedious to use this formula to find out these coefficients. Now, let me tell you, this Pascal triangle will help you out to find out these coefficients. So, let us first see what is Pascal triangle. Pascal triangle is a pyramid of numbers. In this pyramid, there is only one brick at the top, two bricks at the second layer, three bricks at the third layer and so on. These bricks are nothing but numbers. Every layer starts with one and ends with one. And in between bricks are obtained as sum of previous two bricks. Let me show you how. So this is your first brick. It has only one number. On second level, there will be two numbers. And since it starts with one and ends with one, this layer will have numbers one and one. Third layer will consist of three numbers. Since it starts with one and ends with one, we have one one here. And the middle brick or the middle number is obtained as a sum of previous two numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 2. I hope you might have guessed the fourth layer. Fourth layer will be 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3 and 1. Next layer would be 1, 4, 6, 4 and 1. Now let me show you how these elements in the Pascal triangle works as the coefficients in the binomial expansion. Let us study some binomial expansion. a plus b raised to 0 is always 1 or anything raised to 0 is always 1. a plus b whole raised to 1 is a plus b. a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square and a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Now let me show you how these elements in the Pascal triangle gets fit into these binomial expressions. This 1 goes as the coefficient of this first term. This 3 goes as the coefficient of the second term. This 3 goes as the coefficient of third term. And this element goes as the coefficient of fourth term. Similarly, you can see that this 1, 2, 1 forms the coefficients of this expression. 1, 2 and 1. Similarly, 1, 1 goes over here and 1 goes over here. So, let me cut out the story to short. These elements in the Pascal triangle gives you the coefficients in the binomial expansion of a plus b raised to n. It is that simple. Now, what about the remaining elements in the binomial expansion? These remaining elements are formed as follows. This first element gets the highest power in the first term and later on its power gets decreased by 1 in every term. So, here we have a cube, then it becomes a square here, then it becomes a raised to 1 and then it becomes a raised to 0 here. Similarly, b gets the lowest power in the first term, that is 0, b raised to 0 is here, and then its power increases by 1 in every term. So, we have b raised to 1 here, b square here, and b cube here. Similarly, here you can see we have a square, a raised to 1, a raised to 0, b raised to 0, b raised to 1, and b square. This is how it works. Now, let us see an example of this. I am asking you to expand a plus b whole raised to 5. So, first of all, we will draw a Pascal triangle which will have this 5 layers. So, let us draw that. Yes. So, this layer gives you the coefficients for the expansion of a plus b whole raised to 5. The first term of the expansion of a plus b raised to 5 will be a raised to 5 into 1. Second term will be a raised to 4 into b into 5. 
then we will increase the degree of b by 1 and decrease the degree of a by 1. So we get a cube b square here and coefficient will be 10. Next coefficient will also be 10. Degree of a will decrease by 1 and b will increase by 1. So we have a square b cube here. Similarly, we will have a b raised to 4 here and a raised to 0 b raised to 5 here. Coefficients of last two terms will be 5 and 1. I hope guys you understood how to use this Pascal triangle in the expansion of a plus b whole raised to n. One last important thing left is how to deal with this minus sign when you have to expand expression of the type a minus b whole raised to n. What to do? You have to expand it the same way you have expanded the earlier versions that is a plus b whole raised to n. You simply have to put alternative minus sign in the expansion like this. We have already seen expansion of a plus b whole raised to 5. In that expansion, I am replacing every alternate term by minus sign. Look at here. The first term gets plus sign, second term gets minus sign, third one gets plus, fourth one becomes minus, fifth one is plus and then minus and so on. I hope guys you understood this binomial expansion and the use of Pascal triangle in it. In my next video, I will show you how to use this binomial expansion in the expansion of cos nx and sin nx in terms of cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx. Till then, keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.